Okay, welcome back, noble ones. So today we're going to talk about samurai armor and Japanese armor, because these two terms are actually different and you'll see why in a minute. But the first thing I'd like to say is, um, I have recently uh, played and made a video on the video game um, For Honor, which is a video game which features um, samurai, vikings and knights fighting each other. And quite a lot of people have questioned, and, they, and quite a few people have actually asked me about this concept of the uh, samurai faction and the samurais in this faction wearing wooden armor, so armor made out of wood. And a lot of people, there, there was quite a bit of controversy on this and quite a lot of people, write, people writing about it and, uh, and I've seen people actually getting quite frustrated and, and, and angry with the developers of the game with this choice that they have, uh, they have made uh, of having the samurai wear wooden armor. So I would like to clear up things a little bit and talk about wooden uh, Japanese armor. So we've got two questions here that need to be asked and please notice the subtle difference between these two. The first question should be, did samurai ever use wooden armor? Well, the answer to this is no. Samurai never used wooden armor. But the second question is makes everything more interesting. Does Japanese wooden armor exist? And the answer to that is Yes. So this is why I, I said at the beginning of this video, Japanese armor is one thing and samurai armor is another thing. Um, the samurai obviously had an enormous impact in Japanese warfare and they did, and they were the ruling class for such a long time that now the idea of the warrior equals, or Japanese warrior equals to that of the samurai. But there were time periods before that, and centuries and even more if you consider proto-historical times, um, where there were warriors but they were not samurai. Now this is why a lot of misconception comes, and for example when we talk about the Japanese never using shields on the battlefield, that is wrong because it is the samurai who didn't use who usually didn't use shields on the battlefield, or at least handheld shields. But although I have made two videos on this, and I have showed that there are occasional uh, okay, occasions where the samurai did use shields on the battlefield, um, if we can, it is true that it, the, the usage of a shield in during the samurai era is quite rare, particularly if compared to uh, Europe, for example. But um, if we consider the pre-samurai era, the sh shields were quite common in Japan. A similar situation comes when we start talking about armor. Samurai armor is not the only kind of armor used in Japan. Now, let's consider very quickly two kinds of armor, tanko and keiko. Now, these two kinds of armor, infantry armor and ca early cavalry armor respectively, are both considered to be pre-samurai kinds of armor. And if we look at the uh, yayoi period, and uh, we will see that these will be the sort of armor. And of course there will be differences in evolution, uh, just like in Europe really. I mean, you can't take a, a bassinet of the early or late 14th century and say, look at it and say, this is a knight's helmet. And then when you look at a great helm, you say, no, that's, that's, not ro that's wrong, that's not a knight's helmet. It is a knight's helmet, but it's a knight's helmet of a different uh, time, or perhaps sometimes it also depends on the area. Now, in Japan, this is how things worked. So, tanko and keiko are not samurai armor, but they are Japanese armor. Now, what were they made of? Well, when we talk about uh, tanko and keiko, and if you look up the uh, dedicated articles on Wikipedia, you will only see one material, iron. But there are also other materials. When we consider Yayoi period, for example, um, it is strongly believed by historians, quite a lot of historians, and I agree with that, that wooden armor existed. Now, we don't really know how common it was. Why? Because the archaeological evidence for wooden armor is scant. Obviously, because it's organic material, just like with Roman Subarmalis, which we don't have any um, archaeological evidence for. But there is some archaeological evidence. For example, there is one finding of a tanko, so infantry armor. Um, so we're talking about first and second century, so almost Yayoi period. And uh, it was made of wood. At least the cuirass was made of wood. But most likely what historians say uh, is that wooden armor most likely at that time was anything but rare. We are not sure, or historians are not sure, on how common it was, but most prominent historians uh, will agree on the fact that most likely it was rather common before the introduction of iron armour. 
Now, I would like to introduce, for example, to you a, an interesting historian. His name is uh, Anthony Bryant, and he has ri written a book about this. It's called Early Samurai. And in this book, which I will reference, you will find everything in, in the description below if you want to buy it. It's a good read. And in this book, he talks extensively about the sort of armor that uh, they, they most likely used in the Yayoi period. And he does mention wooden armor quite a lot of times. So we will get back to the sort of materials that were used in samurai armor in a moment and we will briefly go over them and the evolution of armor over time. But suffice to say for now that the idea of having Japanese warriors using wooden armor was not a complete invention of the creators of the game For Honor and at the same time it's not, com it's not based on a myth just like I've seen many people say in, in forums, and of course these are people who haven't read or haven't seen the ecological evidence about it, or haven't read much about it. Um, so when you hear people saying that samurai never wore wooden armor, that is correct. But when you hear people saying, no, this is a big myth, the whole con uh, wooden armor never existed in Japan, then no, that is wrong. Um, Jap wooden armor existed, did exist in Japanese warfare, or at least early warfare. So it's not a wrong usage, it's not a wrong concept, it's just anachronistic. It would be like having a modern soldier wear plate armor, so to speak, medieval plate armor. That's the idea, okay? And I don't have really have taken much issue with that because at the end of the day, we know that For Honor is taking place on a separate setting, setting. it's a fantasy setting, and the sort of armors and what, so the warriors that we see are similar to the, uh, well, very similar, to be honest, because they even have Bushido and everything. But yeah, they're very, very similar to uh, our historical ones, but they're still different. We don't, there are situations within the law that could alter or change the way they approach warfare. But the thing is though, that for example, the Knights faction, they use uh, metal armor, um, but the Samurai don't, they use wooden armor. Why? Th this is the real question we should ask. Why would they go back to a probably a thousand to a thousand and two hundred years old technology, considering that they have nodachi, so they do have metal to produce nodachi? Now, one possible answer to that could be a um, lack of resources. Perhaps in the area where they live, they don't have enough uh, metal or uh, to enough ore to produce the sort of iron and steel that you would need to create both weapons and armors and therefore they would choose to go only for the weapons, use that metal only for the weapons. Now another possibility, another interpretation that some people might have is no, they want to be quick, the samurai faction is the, they are the fast, they, they have the, it has the fastest warriors in the game, so in order to be quick they chose to wear wood and make their armors out of wood rather than metal. But that it's, it's absolutely nonsensical, because if you look at the thickness of the sort of plates, shall we call them, of wood, uh, or planks of wood, that they wear for their armors, well, wood is heavy, particularly if it's hardwood or carved hardwood, and historical Japanese uh, wooden armors were made of hard uh, carved hardwood. So that would weight a heck of a lot. It would be almost like, if you look at the amount of, of segments of this thickness, of uh, wood that they wear, uh, it would almost be like running around with a door on you. So um, I don't think that wooden armor or that thickness of wooden armor would ever be um, that much lighter than samurai metal samurai armor, the one that I'm wearing now. And this is actually futuristic because this is 16th century. But I'm saying even if it's lamella armor, so the sort of armor that they would have in the, for example, 12th century, 13th century in Japan, uh, that's not, well, some would be heavy, but that's because of certain choices. You can still make light uh, metal based samurai armor. But if weight is the problem, then wooden armor is not the solution. Rawhide is the solution because this is what the Japanese have done um, whenever you had because yes rawhide was used so basically similar to leather it was used um, to produce uh, lamella armor they stopped using um, rawhide for armors after the after 1543 and the introduction of Tanegashima Teppo and the actual arquebus uh, matchlock type arquebus from Portugal uh, because of course that it would didn't work any no kind of lamella armor could ever stop aquabus balls, hence the development of this plate armor or armor made of itamono plates and as far as this is concerned the tose gusoku or the sort of 
um, bullet resistant uh, plate armor. Uh, this is something that they that it was made either of iron or steel and if you're interested in the sort of materials and metallurgy um, that has to do with this sort of armor then please check out my dedicated video which I will and I will leave a link both in the description at the end of this video. But rawhide was used and rawhide was extremely light as a matter of fact it was used for example to those for those um, samurai who were sort of coming to us to an age if you will, so a little bit older samurai who um, didn't want to wear metal that long and so they, they chose to wear rawhide armor because it was quite a lot lighter than a early example of metal yoroi. Now, of course, before people who defend the game, and I like the game, before you get mad at me and you tell me, but it's a game, or this is all stupid. No, this is an opportunity. A lot of people misunderstand my uh, historical evaluations of games. I know you noble ones don't, but a lot of people who are guests to this community do. I know that it's a fantasy setting, and I know that it doesn't really matter that much, but people have asked me this question. They said, what about actual historical armor? Did wouldn't samurai armor ever exist? And I am just answering to that question. We are taking an opportunity to talk about a game and learn history at the same time. And I'm just reasoning, coming up with ideas. And personally, I don't really like that in on that game. The samurai faction is my favorite faction, but I would have been a lot happier if they had used iron, that wouldn't be nice, but even if they didn't want it to have to, to be made of plate, then um, Nerigawa or, for example, leather or rawhide armor would have been better as far as my taste is concerned. I don't really like this idea of having these so this sort of uh, wooden armor in, in the faction, but that's, that's just me. That's just me. As I was saying, talking a little bit about, I will make a dedicated video about the, you know, in details about the evolution of samurai armor, but um, the sort of materials that samurai, even samurai, used changed over time. We said that in the Yayoi period they did use wooden armor, then they moved to iron armor. Um, and when we talk about both wooden armor and iron armor, please keep in mind that this sort of armor was um, suspended or put together through the usage of leather cords or leather lacing and that's the same for early samurai armor so early samurai armor was made of it was lamella armor there are lots of different kinds and this is why i will have to make a dedicated video to explain to you to explain to you all the different kinds of samurai armor but suffice to say for this video that um the early kind of samurai armor was lamella and you have it both made of uh, rawhide and iron small scales and bigger scales several versions. Now, in the early examples, this sort of net of scales was put together or kept together again with leather lacing or leather cords, but these will be changed into silk. Then, after 1543, we have the advent of plate armor. Not only they change it, they stop using scale, but they start using itamono, actual plates, but they will start using both iron plates and steel plates for the wealthier samurai. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. I will see you tomorrow for my next video. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. What? You don't want to give me a thumbs up for this video?